right, here we are, end of July, July 31st, and it is a little after 6 in the morning. We have no wind this morning, it's cooled off, pretty cool for July. This whole week's been pretty cool. Have a front. We had some rain last night, and it's pretty cloudy this morning, and we have absolutely no wind, so we're going to take advantage of this one and see if we can go uh, call one in. I haven't called this property in over a year, about a year. Kind of let it cool off, so we're going to see what happens. I've been here in a not too far from my house. I've been hearing them, so hopefully we can get it done this morning, late to late, late summer. So let's see what happens. I came through barreling through the fog and I couldn't hardly see him until he was right on top of me and by the time I switched over he knew something wasn't right. Woo! Woo! Able to stop him with the with the bark and hit him at 160. So you know in the fog that's pretty good. Uh, I was able to see him through my scope but with the naked eye I could barely see him. This is when you separate the men from the boys out here in the in the hot weather and and still shooting coyotes. You know a lot of guys give up in the summer but we have an opportunity to get out and the weather's great, we're gonna do it. got a good scenario it's been raining last night it's been raining a little bit this morning but it's starting to let up so i'm gonna tell you if i can get out here and get one i was just in here two weeks ago maybe almost three weeks ago and uh, laid down a double and i talked to the farmer let him know why i had shot those two and he told me he's still seeing a bunch more i'm seeing them across the road so i think it still should be good i wouldn't didn't wouldn't over call it but since he's seeing so many and still hearing so many i still at least get a couple of them for him cab killers we're gonna get rid of a couple of them so See if we can go get one. Yeah, it was a, uh, gosh, 
seven minutes into the call. Did a invitational howl and then followed up with a the Kenai Fryer reset doors. Invitational howl answered right back. And I waited about two minutes and then I started with the invitational. Here he come. But he did hang up. He, he knew something wasn't right. And what I did have, the situation I had was cows come running. In, and I think that got him a little bit. They were kind of coming in the side of me. And I think that got him a little bit. It happens. The problem was my gloves. I got brand new stinking gloves. And wasn't used to them. That's what I'm going to go with. Wasn't used to the new gloves. And they uh, caught on the trigger a little bit. Caused me to miss. Go try again. Bummer.